just out finding more random things in the woods. It's time once again to give you the wilderness experience. So, we'll just go see what there is to see. Hopefully there is something to see. Hey, evidence of a road. Let's go see where it goes. Looks like something big got drug through here. Doesn't matter where I go, I always find bear print. A human footprint. Means there were some hunters out here not long ago. How do you tell the difference between human and bear print? Well, humans wear shoes and bears have paws, so pretty obvious. Humans are much easier to track. Hawk yelling at me. Most of these are birch, and the wind just shifted, started coming towards me through them. Oh, the smell of mint, the minty smell. Oh, it's fantastic. And another nice thing about birch is, even when it's wet or damp, it'll still, still, it'll still burn nicely because it contains a lot of oil in it. I could stay here and just enjoy this smell forever. But we won't find anything just staying here, so moving on. Well, I found signs of this old roadbed again. It seems to be pretty narrow. Looks like whatever hunters were here had some success. Those are drag marks. Whether they were dragging out an animal or a human, I don't know. Lots of these thorn vines down low. They like to trip you up. Not, not much interesting today.
I have found the most awesome tree bridge. My goodness, a tree this size is a lot of firewood. A big old oak tree like this is perfectly safe. It was uprooted when it fell, so it's not rotten or hollow. And it was recent because it still has leaves on it, so you're good to go. Just might not want to look down. That's, 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 that's 10, 12 feet and all that thick nastiness. And yet the age old question lingers in my mind. When it fell, did it make a noise? Gotta get through this stuff. What in the world? It's not on any of my maps. It goes over there. Um, okay. Well, that's got to be a modern old logging road. Maybe an abandoned forest service road. It's got trees growing in it. Looks like the road goes over there and around and over that way. And there's actually a full-on corrugated pipe in there. Which is odd if it's a logging road because you only usually see actually metal pipes and service roads are roads that are used regularly hmm, let's go see chipmunk sounds like a bird but it's chipmunk yeah it's a nice road at one point the trees growing in it and there's some built up dirt right there what is it looks like a small dam Huh. It looks like just a cutout for this road. Hmm. Gosh, I need to shave. This is baffling me a little bit. So the bottom's rusted out pretty good. It's been here a while. I guess the question is, is that doable? I want to. It's a little on the small side. Yep. I know, there isn't nothing to show in here. Yeah, parts of this are cracking under my feet. It's about this small. Been in worse places. You gotta do the duck walk. You don't have to crawl.
Could it collapse? Not while I'm here. Except for the stuff under my feet. Good times. Battery was dead. Gotta pay attention to your surroundings more than to the camera, so. Sometimes the battery just dies on you. Guess it's some hunter's dogs over that way. We hope it's. Yeah, we hope it's hunter's dogs. Yeah, this road hadn't been used in a long time. Something came through here a few months ago. You can tell because the leaves dried green before it actually became fall. But bears don't generally break off limbs. Could have been a hiker. I don't know. Never even... I've never seen people hiking up into these areas, but I am, so you never know. And any signs of hunter tracks are long past. The only main one thing, old wood boogers out here watching me. I just know it. I can feel it. Feel it in your bones. Good thing I know how to use a spear. Oh. Well. Well, this here is a forest service road. Goes to show you can study the maps all you want and memorize them, but you don't know an area for sure until you've been there. Well, it looks like a good way to get back into that dip in the mountain that I've been scouting my ways to get to. I find that's a very effective way when you want to get somewhere that's pretty far. Scout a little bit, scout a little bit. Don't try to do it all in one shot. That way you know what you're getting into as you go along. Especially when you're all out here by your lonesome. Guess we need to go back. As a general rule, I like to leave myself twice the amount of time to get back from where I came from as it took me to get there. Just as a safety thing. I've exceeded that just a little bit today. And that is another thing about exploring. You always want to see just a little bit further ahead. Just a few more steps. What's around that bend? You, you have to have self-control or else you can get yourself into trouble. And people have. But gee, I know that's that valley from where I did that video above the cliffs in the winter it's like so close i can almost touch it another time another time like i said a little bit further every time we'll get there i know there's got to be a waterfall up there crap there's something big running over there 
Doesn't sound like a deer. Yeah, that wasn't no deer. I mean, I know leaves on the ground sound like stuff's bigger, but that had weight to it. You can hear the difference. Like that had a lot of weight to it. At least it was running away. We hope. I mean, how does something get that close? It's not like I'm being quiet out here. Not like I can be with all these leaves. That happened, everything went quiet. I mean, look at there. Bigfoot did that, didn't he? Uh, I mean, it's not cut, it's broke off. Okay, kiddos, playtime is over. I wanna be paranoid about everything now on the way back. Why are you running?